Okay, back, and so now I have tinned up the wires here and here. So we'll be going here to here, here to here. And this is mostly a matter of screwing things in. So I'm going to start on this end here with our, <clears throat> it's labeled VS for V source and ground. And our red is going to come our power line. Now I can immediately see that the insulation on these wires is a little bit thick, but should be fine. We've exposed enough of the copper there. Test that out by just kind of tugging on that wire after I put it in. Now, same thing for the ground wire, which is the incoming ground wire, so that's the one right next to it. So I've got here two wires on the far pins, V source on the outside, and then ground. There's kind of a confusing labeled hole right there, which it says ground right there, and it almost looks like it's that relay, but it actually refers to this hole that's on the side. You could put a ground pin out there. So I've got positive V source going in here and ground going in here. Now I'm going to hook these two wires up on this side. So what I need are two wires coming out of the ground and two wires coming out of the source. Now I'm going to go ahead and disconnect this here so I don't have any actual power. And I'm going to put one of the negatives in. This is 18 gauge, so this is kind of going to be a tight fit. What I could have done is soldered these together directly and created one wire. Oops, now they actually ripped apart, so I'm effectively going to be doing that. to actually split this off. So we could use again our T adapters here. Um, so what I'll do is go ahead and connect one line right here. Connect that up to negative. And then I am going to connect a positive to the positive. Right here. So now I effectively just have one coming out of each. Then what I'm going to do is hook this directly up on the side. So we have a direct connection from 12 volts into the Infineon relay. <clears throat> and then what I'll do is put a T adapter right on these small wires. Well, I didn't do the best tinning job on this, so that's kind of coming apart. negative there. Maybe I 
undo that a little bit. This is what happens when there's not quite enough of the wire exposed and if it's not tinned. Have a hard time inserting it. And it's at this point that I would go ahead and make a new wire. <laughs>